What was the next question? What we got? Yes. Okay. So, what orgasm do you prefer? Pussy. That's not necessarily an orgasm. What is it? So, are you a pleaser? Or yeah, you're... both. So, so but I'm really like, I need to please. You are. <laughs> yeah, I'm a pleaser. Yeah. So, when giving a woman an orgasm. Yeah. Are you giving a clitoral orgasm? Are you giving a G spot? Mm -hmm. Um, I, you know, I, I, um, <laughs> <laughs> my first. Don't show. I that. like to. I I like to make sure she got hers before I even get inside. So I would like to, you know, I would give her a clitoral orgasm via head, and um, and then I go from there into the, you know, the next thing. So are you? Would you consider yourself a headmaster? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Munchy much. Munchy much. I would consider. I would. You're not much enough, are you? No, uh -uh, no. I would. I would consider. My, I, I think I'm good. I think I'm good at what I do. How so? How do I think I'm good at? Do you ask women to rate you? They tell me. On the list. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being nosy. They tell me. I want to know what are, um, what are some things they say. Uh, I ain't think you was gonna eat me like that. <laughs> <laughs> the best head I ever had in my life. Stupid. Uh, for real, I done heard all type of good shit. I done heard good things about it's myself. You stupid? I would. I don't. I don't. I didn't say that. I didn't say stupid. I, I, they never said that word. They never like that head stupid. I ain't never heard that. But I have heard that nigga it's the ain't nobody fucking with you. They like you go, you find that spot, you go right to the spot, you stay there. They like I don't know how you don't lose the spot. That what they say though. That's what they Ladies, say. Ladies, y'all heard what he said. So he he's dating, um, and he said all the ladies say he noticed. That's not what I said. I never said I was dating. <laughs> I never said. I said. <laughs> I said, yeah. for the camera, <laughs> is this camera on me? Well, I got to say, is this camera on me? Use your common sense. You never heard me say that. <laughs> what you heard me say was, I'm a pleaser, and I've heard good things about the, the, the clitoral right, stimulation. He, he was focused, ladies. That's what I said. That's what I said. I didn't say. But if y'all catch him on a weeknight, that ain't what <laughs> you that might mean. get it. That ain't, no, you can't not. Mm -hmm. That's not what that means. That don't mean you, you, you don't know what can happen. But what I'm saying is what you said, I said, I ain't say that. On this camera, he, you lied to these people. And he's and right. And he owe me an apology. And I'm sorry. <laughs> and I apologize. I can hold myself accountable. He did not say that. He said he was focused. I said, if you catch him on a good night, y'all might get lucky and get that spot. And y'all, even when I said I was focused, her question was, <laughs> her question to me was, am I at a point in my career where I'm on the road getting pussy, or you know what I'm saying, am I past that? I said right now I'm focused, so that just means I ain't just out there on the road getting pussy. So y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all something. If you come on this motherfucker, you need to be paying attention because Angie go, she gonna put some words in your motherfucking mouth. Like, be on your shit if you coming on here. That is not what I said. What's your next question? <laughs> next question, please. Oh, oh shit. What is the next question? <laughs> would you, will you stay in a relationship with your um, girlfriend after you find out she cheated on you? No. Why? Wow. Well, you got double standards. I don't have double standards. Would you cheat? When did I ever? <laughs> you on some bullshit, man. <laughs> You used to niggas having double standards. See, I'm not one of them niggas. If I'm in a committed relationship with you, you are who I'm with. Oh, you believe in monogamy? No, I wouldn't mind having two, three bitches. Like, if I could have two, three of them, and we, and I'm they, I'm they everything, I wouldn't mind that. Well, no, what man would? But, you know, I grew up I seeing, I grew up seeing, you know, seeing it done the traditional way. My parents been together 38 years, almost 40 years. So, 
with that being said, I, I'm not opposed to, to just having one woman and spending my life and, and raising my family, my kids and shit, you know, all together like that. I'm not, I'm not against that at all. Well, back to... Um, would I stay with... So, no, I would not stay with a woman if she cheated on me. Um, Because, bitch, what you cheat for? And then my thing is, I just feel like che cheating with women is, is way more um, complicated. But, like, if you went and fucked that man, you like him. One thing for you to fuck a nigga, but to like a nigga is different. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Sex, to most women... Is um, you know it's a it's a sacred thing. It's a it's a it's an emotional connection, mm -hmm. and I just feel like once you you stepped out on me and had that type of connection with another man, mm -hmm. I just can't. You not the bitch I thought you was, and I can't I can't fuck with you. I like that answer. That's a, a great answer. Um, I'm glad you you said that. I always talk about the... I'm going to take this clip, too, and I'm going to post this because this is going to be... That motherfucker going to go viral. Just there, what I just said right there? Because niggas going to be like, man, that nigga ain't lying, dude. I was going to go. All right, I'm just going to go. No, you are good. No, about, you know, people don't be understanding about the whole sexual energy exchange, and women really don't be understanding it because, you know, the whole saying of getting under one man to get, get over one man to get under no, another, and no. they kind of keep going from man to man to man. Mm -hmm. Then they going for empty space, mm -hmm. um, but that that energy is very important. I think I tell people all the time, you know, because people think a lot of times because I say pussy a lot or because I, you know, be in my, you know, in my my comfortable form, mm -hmm. um, that I'm a promiscuous. I'm a sexual pers person. I'm not a promiscuous person. Okay. Two totally different things. Okay. And I always tell people that, like, well, you on here? I said, if I was at the beach, you see the same shit. Mm -hmm. You gonna see the cheeks, the hips, pussy still on private. Still on private. Pussy, <laughs> look, pussy on private. You see the same thing as if you were, you know, if I was at the um, beach or whatever. But it's always, you know, people's perception of you or what they perceive, what they think is okay, and what what they think is is not okay. Right. You know, so. So. Um. Yeah, now that's my answer. No, I ain't. You wanna say? No, that's a good answer. I, I like. I, I, I like that answer. That's Cause I wouldn't expect you to stay with me. Like, if I cheat, I, and I got caught, I would have every intent on if this bitch about to leave, and I would question you for not leaving. That's fair. I, like I would that. question you for not leaving. But I've never been in that situation before. You know, where somebody was. Had to leave you for cheating, so. Well, so, would you like to talk about when the last time you went in a relationship? Would I like to talk about that? Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think that's important. <laughs> that conversation's not important. I ain't with that woman no more, so. It's not. <laughs> yeah. So, <clears throat> I knew I was gonna have a good conversation with you when I, uh, when I, when I first, when I came to the show just recently. I came home and I had. Called her back and I was telling her, you know, I had a good time or whatever. And I was saying I would like to have you on the um, show. And I think I asked you how much you, you know, cost or whatever. What did I say? I don't think you. Really I didn't tell you no price. You didn't. I didn't tell you no price. No. Damn, I could have made some money, y'all. <laughs> and Go I ahead. and I said to her, I said, I want to have a good conversation with him because a lot of the times, you know, from we're both from the west side. Mm -hmm. um, where are you from? From the north side, you uh, Northwest at Humboldt Park. That's Chicago. Uh, not too far from Chicago Avenue. I'm close to the North Avenue. Oh, okay, cool. I'm from the West Side, so that's all I was asking. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know, a lot of times where we come from, and you know, being in the entertainment business or whatever, mm -hmm. um, and black and young, mm -hmm. we don't be having um two parent household, and so the first thing I noticed when I look back there I saw your parents there which I said that's a man of um, good character and good standards mm -hmm. because you know how you're raised and, and I saw your parents together they look like they had been you know a long time they looked you can just mm -hmm. tell and you know and just that part and I said I'll you know that right there says something about a man and so I kind of said what you would respond to some certain things the way that you did mm -hmm. 
Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> the real nigga raised me, man. Yeah. And my dad, uh, yeah. my dad, one of those, man. You know, always been a provider. Um, you know, a protector, a leader. You know, what I'm saying a hustler. I think that's why I get my um, um, hustle mentality from from him. And uh, you know, he know how to lead a family. He ain't perfect, but yeah. That's weird you brought that up. Literally, right before you were pulling up, I said, I wanted to talk to you about, because I had a um, video that I had just <clears throat> did recently, and it was talking about a man providing and protecting, and I went through the comments, right? And I mean, I probably, I prayed and I cried a mm -hmm. lot. Um, 